Hello everybody, Red Gamer here today to give you another episode of Under 5. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. And I almost and I accidentally clicked the pause button. So, yeah. As you can see, I have made a 2x2 two two downwards uh, um, moving piston door with just that much redstone. All this is is just an activation circuit. So all you have to do is come over here, press the button, and it drops it down. Then you press the button over here, and it'll come back up. And all you do for the activation circuit, depending on how high or low you want this redstone, you just bring a redstone line along, put a redstone torch, redstone, and another redstone torch underneath it. Have the, and that is the activation circuit right there. Then this circuit, all the blue is... Um, well, this is the power. This is the activation circuit. This is the this is the input circuit, and this is the output circuit. Then those are the three circuits. This one is as simple as follows. And then the input is. I'm using light blue just so that it makes sense. You have um. This is as complex as I could get a dropper hopper button as a lever without using three hoppers. You take a staircase down of redstone and put a piece of redstone right there. I'm just going to show you that has blue. You have a repeater there, no extra ticks, so a one tick delay. Into this block, don't worry, it won't mess up this piston with buds or anything. It, it has been tested. It'll go into this dropper, which has just any item that has to be stackable up to 64. Well, it can be any item, but there's a repeater anyway, so. You move it'll it'll drop the item into the hopper up above, which will activate this comparator, which will go through the block to the redstone. That redstone will activate this piston. This piston will push up, giving a one tick pulse to this repeater, and that is the button as a lever because it'll either do one tick on the piston, pushing it out, or pulling it back in. And there's just a redstone torch underneath activating it. Then you have and then this is the output circuit. The output circuit is the largest one. You have a repeater right after the block with the redstone torch will block up. And you put a block after that and another repeater. And you have put a piece of redstone right there. You don't need that, don't worry. Piece of redstone right there. Then have two half slabs on the top side of a block. Any kind, it doesn't matter, but if you don't want it to catch on fire, I recommend using stone, stone brick, quartz, or something like that. So, bring the redstone around like that up here. Yes, it will connect, but it will not activate down, so this is just an easy way to keep buds from happening. Then put two slabs uh, around here, like so. Then bring it up one, and place a redstone here. And again, on this, on this one, and that is the slabs for this. And you are going to put in two of a block of your choice here, and two of a block of your choice here. You're going to need obsidian there. Trust me on that. Or a furnace, depending on what you can do. And on the bottom side, you're going to have two repeaters set to two ticks. And on the top side, you're going to have two repeaters set to one, to regular each, like right when you press it down. You put it down. And that is this whole door. I just built this because it uses sand, but if you have a red place, I would recommend using red sand. It works just the same on this side. And yeah, the most expensive part of this thing is the comparator. And um, if you want this to work correctly, I would recommend playing in Minecraft uh, 16 W32B plus because um, that is the snapshot I built it in. And if you're wondering, yes, it is 1.11. Just telling you that right now. And so if you wanted to, you could go down here, grab your hardened clay, well, I would say orange, probably. 
And then you could put orange around here. Instead. And then just behind the button, I would recommend using a different block because that will help ha the button to stand out. So, different block here. I should have grabbed a button. And just grab a stone button, I would recommend because that's the pulse I use, and plus, stone buttons have shorter pulses. Oh, so yeah. I'm just replacing these blocks to show you that it can work with anything. If you're wondering why I was doing this. I keep screwing this up. So anyway, do not get mad at me. Screw could not be used as a rude word or however you take it. So if you want to transition from one thing to another, I would recommend having a checkerboard pattern of this, and then oh, and then the same thing for the clay and sandstone, and have this be sandstone on top. So that way it's a checkerboard pattern, so whenever you go through, it doesn't really matter, and then you are on the mesa side. I would also recommend you know, changing one half of this to orange and the other half not if you're trying to transition. So that way when you press this part, it's half and half. So yeah, this is going to be the world I'm using for under 5 from now on. Yeah, it is a void world. Don't worry, it's not anything weird. I just like it because you can place whatever you want anywhere. You could place it out in the air for crying out loud. And so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time. Goodbye!